Alright guys, today is Monday, July 1st. It's about 10.15 a.m. I'm just getting to a part of this. I think it might actually be part of the Flint River. I'm not sure though. But anyways, I fished this spot in the past. It's one of my favorite fishing spots just because it's normally so secluded and nobody's ever here. But I tried to walk in the way I normally do and I haven't been here in a little bit over a year and it's completely overgrown where I normally come in. So I was going through the creek and come back around. But uh, yeah, man, I'm gonna go ahead and tie on a soft plastic with a jig head probably and get started with that and see how things go. All right, guys, I guess I'll start off where I came in to this creek. There were some deeper pockets when I was walking through here. So let's see if we can get anything and then I'll just, oh man, it's a bad cast to start with. Snagged already. So after I get unsnagged, I will walk this way down the creek and see what I can find. Would be the first cast, man. Last time I went fishing, first cast was that big red breast this time. First cast is a snag. Nope, so I hit it and ran, or swam, <laughs> not ran. I'm casting horrible to start off with, man. No accuracy. Got to get it together. So my wife and the kids went to my mother-in-law's house till tomorrow. She's having a pool party for them. Oh, so, oh shoot. So I have the day, today and tomorrow to get some fishing in without feeling guilty. I'm getting bites. Must be these small, small fish in here. That one was a bluegill or some type of sunfish. Oh, as soon as it hit the water, what we got? Creek chub or shiner, whatever you guys call them. I'm not sure the exact species. It's a shiner, not a creek chub. All right, fish number one, just a little shiner. Get off to a decent start. You got to be kidding. Ooh. Jesus, dude, I hit the camera. I was trying to cast in front of it. It's probably not a good idea to do that anymore. Luckily, I didn't hit the lens. There we go. Gotta get it together. Casting is atrocious. All right, guys, I'm gonna go ahead and walk down some. It just seems to be about knee deep. It's the uh, deepest around here, but most of it is about shin to ankle deep, so I'm just gonna move my camera down and try to fish in some deeper pockets. All right guys, so I got out to that uh, main channel. We had a bit of rain yesterday, so it's probably a lot deeper than it would have been. Got some hard downpours for maybe close to an hour. 
but it looks good. Just gotta make sure I got everything in my pockets. There we go, finally. We got, what do we got? Oh, it came off right at the... Shoot, it looked like a red breast, I think. Man, all right. Well, there's a little bit better fish. It would have been. I was just about to say, I wonder if I should switch out. How long have I been fishing this? Eight minutes. I'll give it to 15 and I'm gonna switch out lures. There we go. Come on, stay on this time. I think it's swimming towards me, still on. Whew. Rock bass. All right, just got fish number two, and that's little rock bass. Man, a family of deer just crossed across, crossed the creek. I didn't have the right lens on, and I tried to get it with a wide-angle lens, but I didn't have time to switch out to a zoom. I that's super cool. If I switched out to this oh, little crankbait, and got a fish on already. Stay on. Oh, <laughs> little bluegill. Nice. This might be what they want today. All right, just got fish number three on my first cast with this little mini crankbait. I think I got these off of uh, Amazon years and years ago, pack of 12, and I still have them. But uh, get them back in. There we go. Feels better. Was that a bat? Oh, that's a bigger sunfish. Whew. Bigger bluegill. Bunch of parasites all over them. Yuck. Nope. Oh, well, there it went. <laughs> There we go. I saw it come up and eat it. Oof, red breast. I must have, did it get it? Oh yeah, barely hooked in his lip. Let's bring him over here to unhook him. All right, I think that's fish number four or five. Little red breast, 